If you've been using Vim for a while, one of the features that you probably make use of quite a bit is the search functionality. Now in Vim, a search is very easy to do. You just enter the forward slash key in normal mode, followed by the term that you want to search for. So here in this document, I can search for the word bat, and Vim will highlight all of the occurrences of that text string in this file. And I can navigate between them with the N key to go to the next instance and the capital N to go to the previous instance. Now this is very useful and this functionality is all well and good until you realize that the highlighting stays around even when you do other things. For instance, if I were to go into insert mode and start entering some text here on this line, you will see that the search term remains highlighted. Now this is going to be true no matter what I do. I can navigate around the page, I can go to the very bottom or go to the very top, and I will still have these search terms highlighted even as I do other things. Now I don't know about you, but for me that's a bit of an annoyance. Usually once I'm done navigating with a search, I would like to go ahead and have the highlighting removed so that I can do the other changes that I need to the document without having the highlighting in my way. Now one way you might know to get rid of the highlighting is to simply search a garbage term in the search functionality to guarantee that a match won't come up and thus get rid of the highlight. But that's not really a good solution. In this video, I'm going to talk about a couple of other much better solutions than this garbage search to removing the highlighting that Vim does on a search. Now, the first method that I'm going to show you to remove a search highlight, as you can see, I've searched for the word bad again, is to set the no hl search variable. If we run this command here, you can see that all of the highlighting has disappeared. What the no HL search variable actually is, is it is the variable within Vim that determines whether or not highlighting should occur during a search. Now by running that command, you can see that we can now move around in the document, enter insert mode, make some changes and leave, and the highlighting is gone. But one side effect of this is that now search highlighting has actually been disabled altogether. So if I were to execute another search, like for the word the, T-H-E, you can see that even though the search works and I can navigate with an N and capital N keys, that no highlighting occurs whatsoever. Now, I don't know about you, but for me, this is not really desirable functionality. Usually I want the highlight to occur when I'm in the process of using the search function. I just want to have it out of my way when I'm done with the search. Maybe you prefer for there not to be any highlighting at all during a search function. If that's the case, then the set no HL search variable is going to be the answer. But for me, that's not really exactly what I want. Now I should mention that you can re-enable highlighting by doing the set HL search variable. And that will re-enable highlighting. As you can see, the word the is now highlighted in every one of its occurrences. I can navigate around. Again, this is exactly like Vin is usually by default. But as I said, the no HL search and the HL search variables are not really the answer that I'm looking for. So I'm going to discuss another option that you have next. Now the next, and in my opinion, better solution that I'm going to show you is the no H command. Now, as you can see, I've executed another search for the word bat here, but if I want to disable the search highlighting, instead of doing the set no hl search option to change the hl search variable, I can actually simply run the command no h, which will turn off search highlighting. Now, once again, I can navigate around and do anything that I want to, but if I were to execute another search, such as for the word the, T-H-E, you can see that the search highlights things yet again. That's because all the no H command is doing is it's toggling highlighting off. The next time that you interact with the search function, the no H command will be toggled again. This is much better than simply hard setting the variable with the no HL search option, in my opinion, because this allows you to simply use the search functionality as it's originally intended once again when you decide that you need to search for something else. In fact, the cool thing about the no H search option, see I can execute it again, is that it will come back on whenever we interact with search. So if I were to hit the N key, it comes back on. Now this is very useful if you want to have basically the same functionality that entering a garbage search would, but it can be done with a simple built-in command in Vim. Okay, great. Now that we know about the no H function, the next obvious thing to do would be to map it to a key press or sequence of key presses in our VimRC file. Now, for me personally, what I like to do is I like to map the no H function to the space key. If we go over here to a running instance of Vim, you can see that normally space just simply moves one character to the right, the same as the default functionality of the L key. 
So I don't use that. So to me, a better thing to do would be to map the space key to the no h function when we're in normal mode. Now we're going to do that with the n no remap, which is, of course, normal mode, non-recursive mapping. Space, and then colon, no h, and then without a space, return. And now this will easily, we can write the change, go back over here, and then we can restart vim. And now when we hit the space key, we will toggle the search highlighting off. Of course, this is with a no h function, so just like before, if we hit the end key to move to the next one, it will come back on. We can toggle it back off. We can do another search. It will come back on. We can toggle it off. Now, to me, that's much better functionality for the space key, and it's something that I personally make a good bit of use of, and it really just makes searching in Vim much better for me, personally. All right, thank you all for watching. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Maybe if you've been searching for gibberish to get rid of that search highlight, then you won't have to do that anymore. The no h function is pretty useful. I started using it a lot once I found out about it. And hopefully after this video, you all out there will be able to make use of it as well. All right, well, we will see you next time. Goodbye.